the, 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 the first function is fx equals xn. The derivative of it is f prime x equals n times x to n minus 1 power. The second one is fx equals e to the x power. The prime f prime x equals e to the x power. fx equals ln x. Um, f prime x equals 1 over x. fx equals sine x. And prime, prime f prime x equals cosine x. Um, f prime x equals cosine x. And the prime f prime x equals negative sine x. Um, the six is fx equals a to the x power. The prime is prime is um, ln a times a to the x power. The seven is fx equals log a to the x. To x. Um, its prime is one over ln a x. Where a is fx tangent x, and the prime is secant square x. Number nine is fx equals cotangent x. The prime equals um, negative cosecant squared x. Number 10 is fx equals secant x. The prime is secant x tangent x. And from 11 is fx equals cosecant x. F prime x um, equals negative cosecant x to tangent x. And I have a problem. This is an example. As fx equals negative 7 sine x minus 15 x squared minus cosecant x plus 7. And the prime is, you just bring down the negative 7, which is the constant. The constant always is the same. And the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So you bring it down. Then the derivative of negative 15 x squared is negative 3x. So you bring it down down to And then the derivative of cosecant x is um, cosecant x cotangent x and then 7 is not necessary to it's a constant. The common mistakes is um, fx to the prime. Usually they go is they think um, it just, it's going to be e to the pi but it's, um, the prime is just 0. They should, it's the same, but the derivative is zero.